Intimidate you. Don't worry, I'm no longer afraid. You, you say nothing can stop us now. Let's finish this. Roger. Out of fire. All right. Get through. One. Start fire. Let me strike. 
Get back! Heal, you dogs! Heal! My apologies if my pets frightened you. I had to sick them on some poachers. Jiao? Mm -hmm. What brings you lot here? <sighs> I see you finally returned to this place, child. You remember it, do you? What's he talking about? This is the lab where the little lady was raised. The laboratory has been abandoned for some time, ever since we had that intruder. I take it that intruder was you, Alvin? Women's intuition, huh? I was investigating the boosters they were making here. What? So it was you. What's a booster? A gadget developed by Ajul to ramp up the mana generated by the mana lobe. Elise is actually holding one right now. Tipo. The spud's apparently a third generation booster. So, you're just a gadget, Tipo? You have named me Tipo. Pleased to meet you. A booster reads the mind of its owner and speaks aloud his or her thoughts. So all this time, Tipo was just saying what's on Elise's mind? That's not true! Tipo was talking on his own! Tipo, you might be a machine, but you're still my friend, right? Nope. I'm just a machine, Elise. No! You're my friend! Nope. You are mistaken. I'm just a device that verbalizes your thoughts. Elise, I'm sorry. Tell us, big guy. Where are lonely little Elise's mommy and daddy? They... They are no longer with us. What? When you were just four years old, your parents were attacked by a bandit, and murdered. I'll never see them again. Not mother, not father, not even Tipo! Hey... I know how bad this must- You still have your parents and friends! 
As if these people could ever understand how you feel. Elise, wait! Ugh, damn poachers again. Hold on. Why was Elise at this laboratory? Well, she was brought here. Sold, really. There was this woman who would gather up orphans and take them to the laboratory. What was her name? I don't suppose it was Isla. Yes, that's it. Isla. A poacher of children, you might say. I have no right telling you this, but please, never let that child be alone again. Be careful. This place is crumbling down all around us. It's as if no human has set foot in here for years. How bad is your wound? Well, I failed at the job I was sent to do, and now you guys are here. The wound to my pride might be mortal. And now you've betrayed Exodus, too. Yeah, well, don't worry about that. For all you know, I might have even staged all that. You're just the traitor type, aren't you? Yep. That's just who I am. Well, regardless, thanks for risking your life for us. My, my. You really are the honor student type. Yeah, that's just who I am. I don't understand. What did Exodus take from Tipo? Alvin? Answering that would violate the mercenary client privilege, but whatever. I imagine they swiped his data memory. Basically, boosters need a compatible partner, and they said they'd never seen a more compatible match than Elise and Tipo. So I bet the data Tipo recorded is gonna be a big deal in the world of booster development. But what does Exodus want with boosters when they already have Spyrix? Sorry, I don't know the answer to that. But we do know one thing. Indeed, it certainly can't be anything good. How is she doing? She's fine. <sighs> well, as fine as can be expected, given what she's learned. Anyway, this place is dangerous. Let's get back to the city. There! So what's the deal with that giant guy in Elise? Is that her stalker or something? What's a stalker? It's like when someone's super obsessed with everything you do and follows you around. I see. So you would be Jude Stalker, for example. What? Mila, how could you? Doesn't it seem like that man knows the truth about Elise's past? Zhao seemed very concerned about Elise's well-being, but I don't know why. Zhao, you say? I've heard that name before. He might be a warrior of some renown. He has a remarkable talent for controlling monsters. Interesting. Something on your mind? Huh? You haven't been yourself since we spoke to Zhao. Yeah.
I heard you followed the bad guys into the hunting grounds. I was worried. Well, it was an eventful manhunt, but we made it back in one piece. I'm so sorry you all got dragged into this. What a horrible coincidence. Isla, you can drop the act. W what do you mean? I really was worried about you. Why would I lie about that? Jude, what are you saying? I'm saying it was no coincidence we met Isla. Remember what those locals told us when the bell rang for the finals? At tournament time, any outsiders are either combatants or spectators. <sighs> right. I recall what she said when she came to help us. You folks don't look like you're from around here. What brings you to town? No one here would need to ask that. Not at tournament time. You were ordered to make contact with us. By Exodus. Isla, that's not true, is it? They said you'd never find out. They promised. But I had no choice in the matter. They blackmailed you, didn't they? They know your secret. Your former... occupation. They asked. Wouldn't it be a shame if Jürgen found out? What happened to the girl breaks my heart. But I had no choice back then either. Please, don't tell Jürgen. He doesn't know. How could I tell him? He's a good man. But it's all in the past, isn't it? Your fiancé should know these things. You're a woman! How can you not understand this? I'm damaged goods. If he found out about my past, he'd leave me. I finally found happiness with Jürgen. For once in my life. Please. Don't tell him. Please. Hmm. I doubt I'll ever understand human love. It has so many rules and conditions. What should we do, Elise? You decide. Me? Why do I have to? This woman's actions affected you far more than us. There's nothing I can do to make it up to you. But please, forgive me. I just don't care anymore. Elise is all alone now, no matter what you do. <laughs> try to find Jürgen. We need to talk to him about the Wyverns. What's wrong, kid? Isla said there was nothing she could do to make it up to Elise. But did she actually try? Is there really nothing she can do? Isla is the only one who can answer that question. Wagering at the Shandu Coliseum. Want to give it a shot? Leia really loves to gamble. Count me out. That's surprising. You seem like the type who would enjoy that sort of thing. Gambling's a big thing in my hometown. I've seen it go wrong time and time again. Oh, come on! We'd just be doing it for fun. The folks who lose their shirts all start out saying that. It's the first rule of betting. If you're just goofing around, don't gamble. If you want to gamble, don't goof around. So, in other words... Only gamble when you're willing to stake everything. Exactly. Little dramatic, don't you think? If you really want to play, I'm not gonna stop you. Just some friendly advice. Alvin sure got serious all of a sudden. Maybe we should take his advice. Yeah, let's skip the gambling. Maybe I should pay a quick visit. A visit to where? Oh, did you overhear that? It's nothing. Just an acquaintance who lives here is all.
Who's this? My mother. She's not doing too well. I don't have a father or any siblings, so I have Violet look after her when I'm not around. Well, hello. Uh, hi. It's nice to see you, Balin. Slipped out of your house to come play, did you? What a shame that Alfred isn't here to play with you now. Where did that boy go off to? What is she talking about? Leticia, Alfred's away at boarding school, remember? Oh, yes, that's right. That poor boy must be crying his eyes out. He's so shy, and he always gets so lonely. Don't worry. He sent a letter saying he's fine. Oh, yes, and that he'll come home for his next break. I promised we'd take a trip on the big boat when he does. I know. Alfred said he can't wait to go. <laughs> you know what he said in his letter? He said he hoped that I wasn't crying. Isn't that funny? He's such a kind, thoughtful boy. Being away from her hometown has been tough on her. And my dad dying didn't help. All she talked about was how she wanted to go back home to the house we all lived in. Maybe she's happier now that she's forgotten all about that life. Oh. You've been doing all this for your mother? Yep. All these dirty jobs, it was all for mommy. Touching tale, isn't it? Alvin, you don't have to be like this. Spare me your sympathy. It's all rotten in the end. It's enough to drive me crazy myself. Excuse me. Got something to say? Listen. You know that I was an orphan too, right? If I hadn't gotten involved in that line of work, I never would have survived my childhood. In other words, don't say anything to Jürgen. Also, I don't want to look after Leticia anymore. And I want you to tell Exodus to leave me alone. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't do that. Only Exodus can make the medicine my mother needs. And you're the only doctor shady enough to prescribe it. I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go straight. Sorry. But I think it's a fair price for keeping my mouth shut. How could you? All I want is to live happily with Jürgen. And you can. As long as he doesn't find out about your past. <laughs> All done. She's crying. Yeah, she's a big old crybaby. We're just gonna leave her like that? If you're so worried, go console her. Comfort the poor, tragic princess.
No sign of Jurgen. I hope Elise is okay. Something has been troubling me about these booster devices. Do you remember the experiment Noctagall was conducting at Fort Gondala? Might that have been a test of the booster's capabilities? You're suggesting Roshigal already has booster technology as well. That would be a logical conclusion. That's not good. Even kids like Elise are strong if they have boosters. If both countries were to wage war with booster-equipped soldiers, it would be a catastrophe unlike any the world has ever seen. Would they really risk having such a destructive war? Noctical might. He seems convinced that he could actually win. Especially since he has the Lance of Kresnik. Oh, here you are. Isla told me you were back in town. I'm so relieved to find you safe. Thanks. Are the wyverns you promised us ready to ride yet? Yes, but there's a hitch. Now that we're on the brink of war, we can't fly the wyverns without royal permission. For that, I'll need to head to the capital, Kanbalar. Hey, maybe we should warn the King of Ashul how ugly things will get if war breaks out. The King does seem pretty popular. Do you think maybe he'd fight alongside us? Whoa, hold on. This is a war we're talking about here, not a tavern brawl. I'd like a face-to-face -face chat with the King myself, but for a different reason. I want to ask him for the truth behind the laboratory. It's crucial that we meet the King of Ajul. We'll head for Kambalar right away. Uh, okay. I'll get my things together. What does Mila mean by the truth behind the laboratory? Apparently, Elise wasn't the only kid they kept at that place. Lots of other children were brought there, too. Did Zhao tell you that? If the King truly wishes to protect his people, he'll give me the answer I see. If he gives me the wrong answer, I'll remind him of his duty. I'll make him swear to never resort to such methods again, by any means necessary. Good idea! Let's go pick the King's brain! Oh, I just remembered! All our luggage is back at the inn! Let us go fetch it. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Alvin. You did well back there. I knew I could trust you to protect Elise for us. Well, I was prepared to honor my promise. Keep the faith, O oh, hollowed spirit. Never a dull moment with that guy. Soon enough, I'll have to prepare myself too. Huh? I am strong enough to destroy the Lance of Kresnik as I am now, without the Force power. Wait, you sure it's a good idea to destroy it with the four great spirits still trapped inside? They would likely not survive. They would lose their forms and disintegrate. But I thought the four great spirits couldn't die. Eventually, new great spirits will appear to take their place. But they will be a different four, with different wills. So that means the four great spirits that you know, the ones that were always with you, they would just disappear? A spirit's personality and memories are unimportant. What matters is a spirit's existence itself. Still, I doubt the Four will forgive me for this. You really care about all spirits, don't you? Not just the Great Four, but the lesser spirits, too. Not just spirits. Humans as well. To me, all lives, human and spirit, are equal and precious.
Let's head for Kenbalar. Do you ever think about Nia Kara? Ivor will protect it in my absence. There's no need to worry about the village's safety. Oh, I wasn't asking about that. What I meant is, do you ever get homesick? Oh. Sometimes I do miss the purity of Nia Kara air. Well, if you ever want to go back, just say the word. <laughs> 